Hi there, this is Fixed It. You're looking at a Nexus 7 first generation 3G model, currently with no SIM in it. If we just turn it on its side, you can see there's a SIM slot here. And as you can see, the machine is on and working. I'll just open it up and uh, have a look at the battery. As you'll have seen in my video about choosing the battery, we can tell that this is a uh, 3G version because of the short battery cable here. And therefore this machine you know, generally requires this uh, specialized battery. This is the standard battery I explained previously as the much longer connector on it. I was asked by a potential customer whether or not there was any reason why the longer lead battery wouldn't work inside the uh, Nexus 3G. If you compare the specs on them you can see that there isn't a great deal in it and that uh, one is 3.75 volts and one's 3. Point so the one is 3.75 volts as well um, and some of them this one is 3.7 volts but generally there's not much of a difference one of the things he did mention was that he thought the leads were different but as you can see uh, except for the length um, it's double red, double white, double black and it's the same on both of them so it set me thinking is it possible to um, use one in the other especially as the 3G batteries uh, can be more expensive online well after some thinking and playing around I've come up with a, an interesting solution and I'll just turn this around to the side okay now what we do know is that um, when you're actually installing um, the battery in the machine it basically needs to go in like that with the red leads on the inside Okay, now that leaves me with all this extra lead um, hanging around, so that's just going to stick up. And then I thought, what happens if I do this? If I gently rotate the battery on itself, keeping the lead separate, and then I drop the battery back into the slot, massage that down slightly, and make sure that lead is connected in. And there we have it. We have a standard long lead battery um, inside a uh, 3G Nexus. So what I'll do is I'll just put on uh, the back of the case and, um, and then I'll turn it over and, and show you what happens. So let me just fold that in. So I'm starting up the Nexus and um, as you can see, it's uh, coming up as normal. And now the Nexus is up and working. And if I just go to the uh, settings, if I now go to the settings and go to battery, um, you can see that the battery was um, oh, I just flipped past. The battery is showing hundred percent. It's showing full charge over here and I uh, just put it in the charger and it seems to be charging fine. So in fact with a little gentle, I say gentle persuasion, I've managed to uh, replace the short lead Nexus 7 battery with the long lead version um, with a quick 360 degree turn. Okay, this has been Fixed It. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it the thumbs up. Um, and uh, look at my other videos. Cheers, bye.